Hello and welcome to one point, new 1.10 mods number two. So uh, I just got this. Uh, I did put uh, the uh, advanced swords mod just to make things a bit easier. Um, here I am in the dirt dimension. The way I got here was I found one of these structures in the overworld. Uh, the uh, the Endermen uh, from it were dropped the Rune of Earth. I placed the Rune of Earth on the um, on the altar in the overworld to get come here. And then I've got, and then I'm here, which is basically so I've got this access to various. Um, uh, yeah, so I go back to the overworld. That's what the Earth, their symbol, there uh, symbolizes. Um, now, what you have to do is you kill these guys, which look similar to. Um, uh, they look similar to the um, the guys from uh, Story Mode, Episode Seven. So it says, kill dirt zombies for the first reward rune, and then find a dungeon for the next one. So, so that's how you get the first one. To get the second one, we just go into uh, game mode three. For some reason, because I never do that, I don't actually. Uh, I don't think I even know how to go down. But it's easy enough to just to go down. Uh, you'd hope so. But yeah, it's basically just a case of... We can go to game mode 3 now. It's just a case of, as you can see, there's these various... Um, uh, nope. There's various uh, chests here. And they have the uh, Rune of Water Part 2. So, so, that's how you get the first two parts. And we want to get to the Rune of Water. Because if we get the Rune of Water, then we'll be able to go to the Water Dimension, right? So, that's what I want to do, I guess. Uh, and yeah, you can configure all this stuff, and this is what the, uh, the World Gen looks like. Right, so... Now this guy, I believe, is the boss. So that's actually quite good timing. So let's just even take him on. No, he is the boss though. Okay, I'll let me one sec. Oh shit. Ah, uh, no. Where did I even where did he even die? Okay. So we've got the third piece of the uh, and I've lost the second piece. The first piece even. Okay, so what that means, we also got this, the digging focus. What is that about? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is actually about. One thing I know though is basically, obviously, like I, like I said previously, we've got the first two. I showed how to get that when I showed, basically, I showed how to get all the three pieces. So. Let's now move on then from this dimension because I've been here for quite a long time, a lot longer than you may think actually. Uh, yeah. Okay.
All right, so there's that. So from there, we would just basically just put these three pieces together and get the rune of water. And so what I'll be able to do here then is simply change it over to the next one. Like I said, I'm not sure about the digging folks. I imagine it's used. I imagine you have to make these. Well, I don't know. I don't exactly know why they gave me that, but let's go for the rune of water now. Put that in. In we go to the next one. Okay, water creates the first rune. What did I put on the boots? That's not enough. Oh, well, there's some weird world gen as well on this one. All right, I'm going to have to... Oh, bollocks. Yeah, let me... One second. Okay, so... We've got these things underneath. They give you the Rune of Air Part 2. So we want to find the Rune of Air Part 1. Which we're going to get from these things. Which are water creeps. And I... Th I was... I'm not sure you can get it with looting. So I'm going to try to kill this one with a... They've got a lot of health, actually. Let me just try killing it with a vanilla tool. Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work. I've tried to kill them a few times, these things. And whether with my looting 6 sharpness tensor, but it's not going too well, I've got to say. Uh, with regards to the drops. So my feeling on that is that the drop is just not working or it's there's a special tool to do to use or or something like that or maybe it was something to do with this thing that we got before the digging focus I don't know uh, I feel like probably not but either way I'm not going to dwell on it too long so we need to make the water seed the water boss seed which is seeds around a diamond uh, so let's see how we can do against this guy then so we'll just uh, throw down the water boss seed into the water and he's landed in an interesting position here ok he's just a, a massive guy Cool. 150. Probably should have done this with the big zombie thing. So this one gives you the damage focus and of course the rune of air part 3. So like I say, the rune of air part 1, which should have dropped from regular water creeps, I couldn't seem to to get it. So, I mean, that's a bit unfortunate, but you know, what can I do? Uh, wow, couldn't have built that much worse. Anyway, so yeah, so let's now move on to the um, next. There we go. Let's move on to the next one then. So we're going to have, let's just uh, forget about this for now. Uh, actually that won't despawn them with it. Let's move somewhere else quickly then. Alright, so we need the air part one. So part one, two, three. Okay, so there's the rune of air. Ok, 
Okay, let's put the air rune in here. He's pretty gonna come with me, this guy. Oh shit! And that's not good. One second. Okay, so yeah. Let me just see what, to be honest, I can't find anything in this sort of dimension. It's impossible. You'd have to do something. You'd have to have a huge, you'd have to actually set up infrastructure to actually be able to do this. Funnily enough, the boss is actually well. Uh, I actually managed to kill him, didn't I? I think. Okay, here we are in the next dimension. This it says there's no boss. Kill spirits are the first spirit rune. The dungeon is the second. There's no boss yet. Kill other spirits. So. Let's just briefly show, <laughs> it's a huge amount of spawning I've got to say, so uh, briefly show that. I'm looking at the wand, how I might at least activate that. We may find out what goes on with that in the fire dungeon, which is probably going to be the last one I'd imagine. Uh, so you get a decent amount of skeletons spawning, but you also get... Let's see if we can find any of these guys. There you go, you can see there's one there. I think they are fighting each other. I'm getting with them. So yeah, uh Again, I'm not really seeing... It must be these guys that are going to give me the part one, but again, the drop rate looks pretty low. And again, the enderman are always the same. So yeah, so that's basically uh, this dungeon, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where the drops were, but I mean, there was a lot of enemies dead there and there were no drops, so I don't know. So anyway, that's that. Let's just uh, quickly uh, move on. And just uh, There doesn't seem to be too much. It just seems to be this com like constantly recurring theme of... Uh, so the fire... So it's just the same, I imagine. It's going to make the rune of fire. And we'll jump into this one as well. So yeah. I think the thing is, is that these are the only three that actually... But I think I actually showed literally getting all of them. Okay, so this is the end. Uh, air boss, water boss and the fire boss. Is that what it said? Throw a fireball seed in the air for the final reward. Is that the right one? Yeah. Oops. It looked like another ghast. Let's do it again. Oh, we've got some more enemies here. Oh shit. They've even got a bow anymore. Wow. So a load of blazes and a pink ghast. Let's 
take a look. And then we'll move on to uh, incense. So there we go. I'm not even sure what this guy can drop. I don't think he, I don't think it's even possible that he can drop anything. But yeah, just a this ghast. Okay, so I think that's probably gonna. Yeah, like I said, I may be missing a couple of things here, but not much. Uh, oh yeah, the wand. I have a feeling that his drop will actually be the wand. Maybe I can just spawn him in the floor like this. Let's have a look. So the fire boss seed. So that is the water boss. That was that. And that's okay, yeah. So let's just... Is that enough? I'm just curious if I can get it. May need a bit more space. You need to have a focus item in your off hand. There we go. And what's the so what's the other one? Teleport focus. Okay, that's not so good. And damage focus. All right, so yeah, like I said, I think I'm just going to leave it there and move on to incense. I think there's... I think maybe there's something going on here. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's cool. What is this? Yeah, there's these solid blocks, solid fire with solid water. Pretty, pretty awesome mod, but yeah. I really don't see how I can really talk about this thing I never really spoke about. I was just the yeah, that just gives you Yeah, I guess I do. It's just the other version of the elemental block, isn't it, in a sense. So yeah, let's just uh Yeah, you see it always tries to go like massively up. be a one drop there but I'm gonna leave it there and move on to incense okay so incense so yeah I'm not sure if I've actually got the required libraries because uh, but it doesn't look good but I'm gonna to try to get um, loads of villagers so I'm gonna put this down and then I'm gonna get flint and I'm going to see if I can actually get villagers to spawn within this area somewhere. So yeah, it's, it's simply a case of um, the mortar and pestle. You mix it together with one of these different pastes. So it'll be uh, the passive one will do those. They're the one which I assume you could do anywhere. Uh, so yeah, just pretty pretty straightforward uh, mod of things you can do of course the question is whether I'm going to actually get any spawns here uh, obviously they're not rendering correctly the uh, 
not sure there's a way to actually... Now that is odd. Aha! There are villagers! Okay! So that's cool. So, yeah. Uh, now let's see what other... So the other thing I was interested in seeing is obviously, I mean I can imagine all these are going to work if the villager one works. Uh, the only one which might not work is... Well that one's going to work. Is this one. The... Uh, nether one. So let's try the nether one then. Okay. Let me just check we're in here. Uh, was that? That was another stick, yeah. So it looks... well that's only a skeleton there. See if we've got anything else, uh, any other mobs. I mean, I think it was actually listed. Yeah, it was. Probably should have been a wither skeleton. There we go. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to run away from the ghast and I'm also going to end the episode here just because the uh, the first mod took quite a long time uh, so I would normally try and do more than two in one episode I'll try and do more than two next episode uh, we'll see that again it may, there may be another long one which can take a long time but until next time thanks for watching